Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, Justice for All. Last we left off, we got to meet Trillo Boy, uh, the puppet that Ben uh, puppeteers. And so I think we were very close to getting uh, done with the first phase of investigation. I think, uh, I believe at least, Trillo is going to be one of the witnesses. I think that we have two actually. We have uh, uh, Trillo and Ben, and as well as Mo. So I'm guessing Mo is going to be the first one to um, come to court and uh, give his testimony. I believe we're going to get into the actual courtroom in this episode, so let's see. I'm not quite sure just how much of the investigation we have left. It's been a while since, uh, since the last episode, so I don't remember much. Anyway, let's just jump right in and see what happens. Alright, so we were at the cafeteria, it looks like. Um, I believe we gave the puppet back to Ben. Uh... And Ben had just told us that he's going to be at the court room. All right, so let's just keep going here, I guess. Oh, what in the world happened with Ben and Trillo? Quite a pair, those two. What did that... What? Was that a monkey? Or is that... Oh, no. Now what? Is that Regina again? Or, or, Jesus. Okay. Ah! Yeah! What? Oh, he took the badge. The frickin' monkey took the badge! That's all we have, dude. That's our pride and joy. Do you think, um, Regina could be the culprit and she somehow used the animals? Oh my god, what if the monkey killed the ringmaster and that's why there's no footprints, because it can just, f just fly away like Tarzan or something, I don't know. Hey, welcome back, Nick! Oh, he just passed out? Th th that monkey! Mm -hmm. Ah, my badge! The monkey stole it! What? You didn't see? <laughs> Mr. Attorney, that face was so cute! Look, you look so completely dumbfounded! Regina! You, that monkey! Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But my attorney's badge! Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? Yeah, that's all Nick does, is just flash his badge. By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. Oh my god, of course. His name is Mon Money? All right, why are we talking about the monkey now? But sure, that monkey is called money? Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do. Even I have money problems. Ooh, eh? Money problems? Hmm, hmm, what about that raise dad? Max Galactica got. Were you concerned about that? Whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out where Money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Wait, is that Mo's monkey? Huh? You don't know? Well, money isn't exactly someone I am on friendly terms with. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Got go to Moe's, hmm. I guess it is time that I revisit that kooky clown. Oh my god, I don't want to revisit Mo. I don't want to, I, I don't, I, mm. He's too much, he's too high energy, and I don't feel like it. Do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben? You mean the guy that is always hanging around with Trillo? Oh wow, she just doesn't even give a shit about Ben. All, she's just into Trillo. Funny. What do you mean hanging around? Well, he was there when Trillo told me that he was in love with me. Trillo told you that he was in love with you? Yes, he did. Kinda cute, don't you think? He's so smart, and he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. Uh, but what about Ben? 
For a 16 year old, this girl is kind of stupid, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trillo. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. Whatever that means, old timer. Proposal. Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? Nope. That won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, because Max proposed to her, I believe. Yeah, and Max and Trilla both said otherwise. They said they asked for her hand in marriage. Ah, but Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. Uh, really? I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, not Regina directly. I see, yeah. Didn't, yeah, didn't the ringmaster die right after, so he didn't really have time. So I guess Trillo hasn't asked her directly yet. What? He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh? What? What do you, who do you think I should go for? Max or Trillo? Wait, wait. You do realize that Trillo is a puppet? Huh? I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Oh boy. <laughs> Can I, uh, what can I present to you? Can you tell us about the incident? I don't think she does, okay. Uh, what about Ben? Ah, that guy. His name is Ben, right? Huh? You don't know him? I don't know. He didn't really catch my eye. He's friends with Trilla, right? Wait, we're the ones asking the questions around here. Okay, she doesn't know shit about Ben. Okay. Let's go back to... Let's go see Mo. Uh, I believe he is right over here. Is he outside? Lodging House Plaza. Huh? Detective Gumshoe took off already. Yeah, probably because we ditched him earlier. I bet he and the other cops got lonely and headed back to the precinct. Wow. Little... Gumshoe got lonely. I still want to know what, what's up with that ceiling. Why is there like a- why is it boarded up and shit? Oh my! If it isn't Mr. Bright all the time! Ugh. Yeah, he's still making fun of us uh, for that stupid joke we made. <laughs> it's alright to be wrong every now and again, right? Oh my god. See, Nick? It just took a while for the joke to find its audience. Now he's just never gonna let go of that. <laughs> what can I do for you? Did you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair or maybe just pull my finger and let me have it. We're going to get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? <laughs> do you know I put a whoop whoopee cushion on the chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus. Oh. I need a glass of water. Jeez Louise, that killed my throat. Okay, let's talk to you. Regina. So, about Regina. Regina is such a pure, innocent child. She's 16, dude. She's old enough. She, But she's too dumb for her age. Oh, God. She's such a cutie, too! She was born and raised in the circus, you know? Oh, so she's very much sheltered, like, um... Like Pearls, maybe. That's why she is kind of a bit slow. And maybe that's why she doesn't realize that Trilla is just a puppet. I don't know. <laughs> but that means she doesn't really know much about the world outside of the big top. Yeah, it's basically the same kind of situation yet we have here. She is old, but she's mentally not really quite there yet. Sounds like Pearly! There you go, yeah. <laughs> for, for her every... For, for her every child's dream of the circus is her everyday reality. She lives in a dream world. She sees dancing wild animals, a man flying in the air, and one very funny clown every day. The funny thing is that all seems normal to her because it is her everyday life. 
I guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist's puppet, yeah. Don't ask me if her reality is a good thing or a bad thing, though. A clown sees life simply without complications. That's interesting, though. How, how can that play into the case? The fact that she's kind of unaware? Maybe she... Maybe it, ha it hasn't quite hit yet that, um... Her father's dead? I don't know, Money the Monkey. Have you ever heard of money m of monkey? Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Ah, yes, Money. He stole my attorney's badge. Well, <laughs> Money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he'd swipe her badge. Shiny objects. Could he have like taken care of um, the murder weapon? <laughs> if it was shiny, I guess. But under no circumstances can you chase after him. Eh? Why's that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? Haha, <laughs> exactly. Bravo, bravo. You're not joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. Then who does he belong to? I'll be happy to take you to where his owner is staying. A what? I thought it was Mo's monkey. There's another person at the circus? You mean right now? Of course, shall we go? Hmm... Should we go with him now or wait a... Wait, what? Why Why would we wait a while though? Go with Mo, of course. Is this the... The... Who, who could this be? Like musical instruments and shit, okay. <sighs> well, this is the third floor, right? It must be. I think. This is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I, uh, can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of, uh, flights of stairs. <sighs> Anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. There you go. Yeah, Acro's room. We saw that. I, I thought it was acrobatics, but, yeah. There's a tire right there. Hmm. Acro. He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today. Eh? That's a big pile of junk over in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there too. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Mo. See you later. A monkey who takes care of Acro habitually gathers all sorts of shiny objects. Hmm. Hab takes care of acro it's it's a bit weird all right what do we, we have a very long pole over here that's kind of suspicious not gonna lie oh what what are these uh marks on the floor i don't like what this i feel like ac this acro person is very much involved with the crime it's kind of weird that we're not gonna meet him before the first courtroom session, you know? That's just weird. I don't know. He's very suspicious already. Money must use the, uh, to swing around on. Go ahead, Nick. I know you want to ride on it too. Maybe later. Hmm. Holy cow! There's a fork and a mirror. Everything's shiny. There's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this. It's a trophy. And it's really heavy. Oh. The badge? Yeah. It's a trophy. So, like, ah, oh, that's weird. Okay, so what I, what I was thinking was, we saw the costume that the culprit was wearing um, in the Ringmaster's room last time, in, like, a cutscene from, like, a flashback scene that um, Maximilian was having. And we saw the costume in the room. And so the killer must have gone there. And if the killer went there, I'm guessing money, the monkey, was with the killer? And he actually snatched a trophy from the trophy case somehow and brought it back over here. Right? That, I mean, that kind of makes sense if that's what happened, you know? Because this monkey sure loves freaking shiny shit, so I don't know. Nick, I found it! Your badge is right here! Attorney's badge returned to his rightful spot on lap, uh, lapel. Thanks, you really saved me. 
Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring. It's a ring. <laughs> There's something engraved on it from two, from T to R, from Trilla to Regina, I'm guessing. A cheap ring with an eerie sparkle. So Trilla de de did indeed propose to Regina, and the ring somehow ended up over here. But why would Regina lie to us about the proposal? Did Regina lose her, like, is she suffering from amnesia somehow? I don't, I don't know. Is that it? That was a weird, like, fade out. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigate. Really? I didn't really look at much here. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows, even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mel will be a witness in court tomorrow, yeah. And Ben and Schiller are gonna be there too at some point. Mo and maybe the puppet! Yeah. Oh, Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick, no matter what, we've still got a magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. Very funny. Very quirky. Uh, to be continued. Okay. Huh. I guess this would be a good stopping point, but we gotta keep going. Still got quite a bit left. Oh, Mr. Man. Good morning, Max. Max? Max? Uh, m milk. W what? Uh, if I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage, I just can't function, sweetie. Uh, s stage? Don't worry, there won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. Oh, uh, uh, I guess. Nick, Max is really nervous. That's understandable. Uh, hey, my sweeties. Uh, wh what? Uh, you don't think I should fly, do you? How do you fly? I think we're gonna need that uh, piece of information uh, to solve the crime over here, because um, whoever it is that killed the ringmaster must have known the thing about too about your trick. Huh? You know, you've got to make a good first impression, and if, even if they didn't know, um, like, the trick to it, um, maybe him telling us how the trick worked could help us figure out how the killer actually did the crime. When I entered the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up the crowd a little. No, 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 no. We can be having you flying around the courtroom, it just wouldn't be right. And don't you need, like, uh, to prepare beforehand, because you don't actually fly, dude. Imagine if you hit someone. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be okay. Oh, sweetie. What is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? Oh, is he actually gonna show us? I can see it now. The dashing young lawyer flying fabulously in from above. One glimpse of that and everyone in the room will be on your side. Max, really? No one needs to fly today. Uh, Nick, what's with that look in your eyes? I think you should. Yeah, <laughs> I like the sound of that. Dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. Honestly, Nick is just imagining himself right now. Uh, Maya, that's why he's um, smiling so much because he's very narcissistic. Yeah, that's what it is. He doesn't care about you flying. He just cares about himself doing it. Well, Von Karma's back. Uh, and now, the case of me. Uh, what? Uh, what? Your Honor, get on with it. Oh, sorry, I just realized that the defendant's name is Billy Bob Jones. <laughs> so? Well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor, he does often go by the name. You know, my grandchild is a huge fan of his. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we called the defendant Maximilian Galactica. Okay, sure. <laughs> Sounds more, ah, uh, friendly. 
Hmm, I wonder if that is our advantage? To our advantage, my, my bad. Miss Lauren Karma, your opening statement, please. I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix, right? Eh? That spirit channeling trial was a sham. I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. Okay, sure, if that's what rocks your boat. <laughs> it did not count. Do you hear me? She must still be upset about what happened last time. Of course she would be. It's her first loss. You have no chance. Zero. Zilch. Nada. I'm not losing this case. Why, you ask? Because it is not in the nature of a Van Karma to lose at anything. Well, you have already, so better get used to it. I guess being born with the name Van Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying. Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'll show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. Me? Guilty? Ow! What are you talking about? It will be my ultimate revenge. But it's not like it'll bring her dad back. Oh, Jesus, Maya, calm down. There, opening statement complete. Now let's hurry and wrap up this waste of time. Okay. Very well. You might call your first witness, Miss Von Karma. Detective Dick Gumshoe, get up there now. So it's Gumshoe again. He always fucks up those. <laughs> Sorry to keep you from work, as I'm sure you need every penny you can earn, Detective. Jesus, okay. Don't mention it. It's no trouble at all. I've been looking forward to this. Very well, I would like to begin by shedding light on the events in question. Hey, your service, sir. Oh, all right, detective. You may proceed with your testimony. All right, let's see our first testimony of the case. Details of the events. <laughs> the night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. All of the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15 p.m. The victim was found bent over a wooden box that has a doornail. The cause of death was a blunt force trauma that snapped the vertebrae in his neck. Oh, the neck one. I see, he was beaten to death. Here is the autopsy report for the victim. The court accept this. Okay, the court accept. Okay, sure. The court accept this into evidence. Okay, time of death, blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Okay. Blunt object. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Well, I didn't really see anything that stuck out to me over there. So I guess we'll just press on everything. Uh, see what we can, uh, what we can get. Let me ask you about the snow. It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about, about an inch and a half on the ground. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Hmm, the snow. Let me see. There's got to be more to this. Eh, what's the matter, Nick? I need to take a look at the court record. Mr. Mr. Ganshu, what were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? Right. Court record. What's 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 wrong? picture is that an inch and a half i have no idea i cannot tell you uh where's the autopsy report okay we can uh sh that's not nothing map no documents doesn't tell us anything okay so we might have to actually um object to the first one maybe All the circus performers were gathered. Yeah. Okay. What about Acro? Was he there? When you say all of the circus performers, who do you mean? 
Everyone but the dancers and the staff were there. Regina, the animal tamer, Mo, the clown, Ben, the ventriloquist, and of course, the defendant, Maximilian Galactica, and his victim. And his victim. Okay, calm down there. The ringmaster. Oh, I almost forgot. Regin the tiger was there as well. Out of curiosity, what about the circus monkey? Oh, what about Acro too? When I was investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch. Oh. Detective, you're welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. What's a police report gonna do to a freaking monkey? Okay. Um. Broke up round 10. After the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? Regina was playing with Regent while Mo went back to his room for tired from work. Then the ventriloquist went to the front gate, absorbed in his own world. But why? That's so weird. The ringmaster and Max went off to the ringmaster's room to talk privately. I don't think, uh, um... I think Ben actually proposed that night, um, when everyone went off on, uh, to, to do their own thing. I don't think he was at the main gate. Uh, talk privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? Seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Max was asking for Regina's hand in marriage. Yeah. Self took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house. I'd like to be a bit more specific about the events at 10.15 p.m. Uh, um, okay. Not a problem, pal. We've got a witness that told us how the whole thing happened. Ow! This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Hmm, alright, we'll just have to revisit that testimony later. Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? Why did, uh, Von Karma shut him up? The victim was found. What's that box? We still have no freaking clue. A wooden box. That's right. The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. I mean, if he was caring when he was killed, um, wouldn't the, he fall over? Like, he wouldn't just fall onto the box like that. It just looks too perfect, you know? Was he potentially dragged there? I, I gotta take a look at the photo again. Oh, what about the- oh shit, my bad. Where, where's the crime scene photo? Is this one right? No, there's no way he was dragged. Never mind. Must have walked there. Carrying the box, huh? It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked, not to mention it was locked. Locked, you say? The victim was hunched over the this 20-pound box. It boasts a small but strong lock. I wonder what's inside it. Do they check? And why is it so heavy? And how did it end up outside? Damn, dude. I, I don't get it. This may be my only chance, so I might as, um, as well ask some questions about the lock, the contents, about the wooden box, the contents. Do you mind telling us what was inside that box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than Fort Knox. Knox. So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. Is that sand? What is that? Bottle? What is that, detective? Exactly what it looks like, your honor. It's a condiment bottle. Oh, what? From the kitchen? The freak? Oh, was he? Was the ringmaster trying to protect uh, Max from Ben charging any? I don't. I don't know. What's inside the bottle? It's filled with pepper. Uh, uh, pepper? What in the world was it locked in that box? Why in the world? There was only one little bottle in that huge box. I wonder if that has some sort of special meaning. Find inside. Huh. There's no way the contents were switched out, right? Small seasoning bottle. So this has something to do with the incident. 
It has to. Maybe, yeah, maybe the ring master was trying to hide evidence? I don't know how this is evidence, but... The cause of that was blind force trauma. Snap, snap the vertebrae. According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blonde object, correct? You've done your homework, pal! And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it is something the perpetrator ran off with. Well, you would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. No, 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 I bet he made it disappear with magic. Ho, ho, ho! Oh. Well, I think we have a good feel for the details of the event now. I guess that's all we're gonna get out of Gumshoe in this case. You mean we're gonna get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? Now that we have wrapped up with the detective, I'd like to call my next witness. Okay, so we didn't really have to, like, object to anything. Eh? I'm not even off the sand yet! Obviously, but that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. <laughs> Man, don't bully Gumshoe. He, he's the best, dude. Just shut up, on Karma. Shut up, Francisca. I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive <laughs> Gumshoe. It's okay, Gumshoe. We all love you. Thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. You may step down. Miss Von Karma, call your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. She must be talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. I'm surprised Mo hasn't testified yet. They're bringing Ben in before Mo, huh? I wonder if Trilla will show up on the stand as well? Most likely, yeah. Please state your name and occupation for the record. <laughs> My full name is Triloquist. I am employed as an operatic tenor. Uh, excuse me? The witness called to the stand was one Mr. Benjamin Woodman, ventriloquist. That all must be cutting off your circulation. I said that I was a singer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine, I'll grace you with a song. Ahem, me, 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 me. The world of law, exciting and daring, guilt or innocence. Decided by a trust to stop like a woman. <laughs> well, what do you think? Uh. It had a good rhythm. It's just the lyrics. They leave something to be desired, so to speak. Yeah, he's kind of shit at it, but hey. Uh, Trillo, you know better than to assault Judge. Shut up! Just look at your nose, you would think you'd have the sense to fix it. So ugly, I wouldn't punch you in the face on the off chance. Swelling would help. You know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star? Celebrities must really enjoy seeing everything that flashes into their minds. What's going on here? Water, water, I demand to know who the witness is. Uh, don't, don't worry about me, sir. I'll let Trillo handle this. Well, I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm worried, ouch! You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now let's proceed. Dude, this judge. Can we replace the judge? He's so freaking useless. All right, what we what you witnessed. Uh, I think we're going to stop here, actually. We're going to um, pick off right here next episode. All right, so in this episode, we just found out that there's another uh, person at the circus we haven't even met yet. Acro, whoever that is, and the money and money the monkey who takes care of Acro. Apparently, Acro wasn't at the practice because uh, he he or she was not mentioned at all. Maybe it's the monkey that's significant. I'm guessing the monkey maybe stole the murder weapon or something. Um, I have no idea how the monkey's gonna come into play. Obviously, the monkey stole Regina's ring. That just means the monkey at least. The monkey was at the practice the day of the murder. Because I'm guessing Ben or Trillo proposed to Regina um, right when practice was over and everyone kind of just scattered around, right? That's the only real opportunity that Ben slash Trillo had to propose to Regina. But I'm surprised Regina is like straight up saying no one even proposed to her. Uh, well, Max didn't propose to her. Max just asked her 
Hand uh, in marriage from the ringmaster the day after murder. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure why Regina's lying about the whole Trillo proposing situation. All right, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.